today I didn't do too many things it's almost almost 12 p.m. so it is late in the day and although I woke up at 8 I didn't do too much it's a very very slow day but I sure have some things to tackle my house it's um, a mess uh, and I will take care of it right now I was doing like <clears throat> A to-do list and I'm just um, putting some stuff just to get me started so bed sheets I have to change the bed sheets oh not to mention today is Monday so it is basically my free day but um, well I have a lot to do for a free day so next on my list dishes i hate to do dishes but i must do them vacuum meditation because i'm doing that mindfulness course and i'm so bad at homeworks i didn't do anything anything this week anything <laughs> but anyway the good news the good news is that i slept a little bit better last night i still woke up like a hundred times no not a hundred times but anyway eight seven eight nine times but the sleep itself like for that hour i had a deep sleep for that hour so my, my brain still doesn't function well, but I hope I will find some way to arrange my life and make things work in my life and in my mind. I don't know, I have to correlate these things. Right now, right now, let's check off the first point on my list, which is laundry. So, I want to show you how bad the situation is in my kitchen. This is my kitchen. So it is bad. It is really, really bad. But I will take care of that, like, right now. So, I don't feel good. I don't feel good! But, I've done with laundry. I put away clothes. Yes, I did. Laundry, clothes. Right now I have to order food. What do we have here? Fish. Perfect. I will cook this fish tonight. So, I think right now it's a mix between bad sleep for over a month i believe because i didn't realize i had so such a bad sleep my therapist kept asking me when i was telling him how i feel but did you sleep but did you sleep and i was like yeah, yeah i'm sleeping <laughs> and i realized that i i wasn't actually I had a very very bad sleep so maybe it's a combination <sighs> I want to do so many things but maybe that's why I feel ill because I am low energy and I, I want to like force myself into do things but no we, we shall see what I can do today so it's high anxiety um, and I believe I'm tired. I believe uh, the sleep wasn't enough and my body just shuts down when I don't have mandatory things to do, like going to the radio. Because I can't skip going to the radio, my brain knows that, so basically the system for the past month was go to the radio, 
three to four uh, days in a row and then just stay in bed which is not is not a good recipe but <clears throat> exhausting myself it's also not a very good idea so I think now I know what I'm going to do I'm going to go to bed and uh, order food from there so I will stay in bed and maybe after placing the order I will be able to sleep a little bit and if I can't maybe I'll just meditate or do my mindfulness exercises which um, really really I think it's a very good idea right now because I feel sick I feel really really sick this day couldn't get more slow than that so grocery is ready uh, and I'm pretty sure my washing machine has stopped and right now you know what I'm going to do <laughs> you know what I'm going to do I'm going to take my uh, laptop with me in the house and just play some YouTube video for deep clean organizing and stuff uh, because I want to uh, clean along with them. And I have several YouTubers to do cleaning with and right now uh, the more recent video I have on my list is from Catherine Elaine. Catherine Elaine. So I am going to watch her for the next three hours. Oh my god. Three hour cleaning motivation marathon. Yes. I, I feel like this is what I need to uh, get in track with everything. So... I'm going to continue with um, the laundry, with the dust, with vacuuming, and anyway, washing floor and everything. I don't think I will be able to finish uh, everything around the house, but at least, at least I will uh, do something. I will um, be able to um, arrange things a little bit uh in here and also I think because I won't be able to cook anything my kitchen looks exactly the same as I showed you earlier so I'm going to order food and just try to clean as much as I can so as you can see I'm uh, still in bed but I feel a little bit a little bit better I'm, I, I don't feel sick anymore so I'm trying to just Take it really, really slow, and hopefully um, that sickness won't come back. I keep a photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care. Cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that it's over I know it's true You made me happy for a while I remember fleeting times When we slept on top of cars Now I don't I'm almost done with the bedroom. I'll just uh, need to water the plants and I think it pretty much it. I will leave washing the floors until tomorrow. Uh, I won't do that right now. Um, other than that, my food came. So I will take a break to just enjoy the food 
and then tackle the rest of the things uh, not too many things though because it is already 6 p.m but i've done something today like uh, it is something not much but given the fact that i felt that bad it is okay so i have like the third or the fourth a load of um, laundry in the machine right now so uh, let's see it look at this look at this bam, bam, bam. this is garlic sauce and this is pork and i don't know why they send me omelette with this pork but anyway <laughs> i will eat it as it is well it is 9 37 p.m and i believe there will be no surprise to announce you that i failed <laughs> completing my tasks today but i am somehow pleased and right now i think i'm going to shut everything down i'm not sleepy but i'm trying to fix my sleep schedule i want to shift a little bit my sleep routine because it's it's not good i believe i will meditate i have an app i have meditation from uh, my mindfulness coach so i will just do that for uh, ne the next minutes or so minutes like not more than 20 or something and we shall see if I can fall asleep earlier. I had a pretty good sleep, pretty good sleep. I woke up like a s several times, but I realized that the longest time I slept, I believe it was in the morning. I don't know why I am sleeping that well in the morning, but I'm pretty sure that although I sleep well in the morning, is not the best sleep I could have. So I'm trying to shift that and <laughs> Big is <laughs> Big is um, asking for food and <laughs> Bitchy, my baby He keeps attacking me. He's just trying to uh, have my attention but I have his attention. I don't have food though. So we are waiting for fresh food right now. And that's what's happening here. So I want to say good morning. Um, I feel rested after uh, almost a week, I believe. I finally feel rested. So I uh, am very curious how uh, my uh, sickness <laughs> it's like Andrea Andrea I want food that also means I want food Oh no, baby. Oh no, baby. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't have food for you right now. Ow! So the biggest surprise <laughs> is this. Like, I don't remember it to be this big. I didn't even know it existed. have to I don't know share it with friends so it is 7 38 p.m. and I officially uh, wasted the whole day so I was watching Kaylin Nicholson about uh, getting her life together for spring and she also told about her um, detox like social media detox and everything 
which is not a bad idea and it might be um, the reason I am not doing much because I'm just scrolling scrolling and just um, consuming a lot of information and I just get tired like my brain gets tired because it's too much information and it happens too fast uh, if we are talking about TikTok it is really really fast and it is a lot of information so I will keep this uh, vlog so slow paced because this is how life happens I washed some of the dishes but not everything I wanted to cook today but anyway it is 7 39 p.m. and uh, my main main focus for this week is to um, repair my sleep schedule so I want to be in bed at 9 and I will try to meditate and to sleep I still have like 30 minutes with my laundry but it is okay I can uh, already prepare myself to go to sleep so because I've spent my day on social media watching YouTube scrolling through Pinterest uh, and playing games on my phone I've decided that starting tonight uh, from 8 p.m. I don't know in 20 minutes I will shut down everything I have a pickup to play records so if I want to listen to some music I will use that it uh, it's uh, a little bit broken and I'm not sure if it will work properly but anyway if I won't be able to listen uh, to any records on it I will find something else to do like reading and meditate so I will use my phone but I will use it for a vlogging for editing vlogs and I will also use it for meditation so I have to uh, like shift a little bit like the rules because I'm not spending time on social media or on devices to work I spend it on meaningless things it's okay to um, give yourself an hour or two to just relax with some music or scrolling or whatever you like to do but for me it tends to be uh, excessive I don't really have addictions like I don't smoke I don't drink stuff like that but I do have an addictive like personality because I have OCD like I am making obsessions so instead of smoking I might scroll to TikTok I don't drink but I might binge I don't know on Netflix or something to eat uh, chocolate mostly so <laughs> I will treat this um, device consumption if you will like an addiction uh, I won't be able to just give myself 20 minutes and that's it it will take me a few hours at, at least a few hours so the rule is this I won't use any of the devices for entertainment so if I want to use Facebook it will be for my business this is the plan wish me luck okay uh, I am back you know what I have done I've set up timers for uh, my apps so I only have like five minutes or so on each of them every day just in case like my my um i don't know my fingers <laughs> are uh, becoming like touchy touchy um my app my phone app will stop me and 
<laughs> five minutes, just five minutes on every app. Can you imagine? It might be torture. I don't know. So I believe uh, I will have to be radical. Extreme times, radical measures. This is how it works. We were obsessed and we felt warmth in our chests. Your heart was full of dreams. It made you feel extreme. Give me a sign if you keep it in mind. But somebody told me that it's over. I know it's true. So it seems. I got into cooking mode and it's already 9 26 p.m. So I still have some vegetables in the oven, but until they are ready, I am getting ready for a good night's sleep. So I guess this strategy is kind of working. I don't know how. You do brushing teeth, but I do it in the mirror and I need to see every part of my mouth to be sure I'm cleaning it thoroughly. So I'm doing that and since I have the braces, I'm using also these types of uh, brushes. This is a little bit um, used, but I have this. So, I have these ones for my teeth. I am brushing between the uh, braces and inside, like between the teeth or whatever I can fit in because I can't um, floss, obviously. And as the last step, I am using this um, mouthwash, I believe it's called. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, um, it's a pretty long process, but I'm doing it right now. Okay, so I will check my vegetables right now and let me show you that my, um, fish and vegetables and yeah i think i'm quite done with the meal prep so i can go to bed right now